What is going on, true believers? Guys, tonight we're going to talk about the three, the three top tokens for the month of February of 2024. One of these is going to be a pure DGEN play. Another of these is going to be one that you expect. And another of these is going to be one that has a catalyst that kind of revealed itself just recently. And it's playing out right now, causing a dip. But when the dip is over, I think it's going to have a, a nice little run. Now, before we get started here, if you like this content and this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button on this video to continue to trend it. This is going to be the top three tokens or coins for the month of February of 2024. Now, to start this one off, uh, we're going to go with the first, and this going to be Myro. Myro is currently trading at 19 cents. For those of you that know, we got into it about seven cents. So, you know, we're feeling really good about the position, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is with Myro, this is a very active community. Uh, at this point on L Bank, it's trending number three on Coinbase. It was the number one search crypto on Coinbase for a long time. It's become the number one on the KuCoin gem box. Uh, continue. This is this is a, a, a giant community that continues to excel at sharing information about this crypto. So uh, I, I get the sense, I get the feeling that after this market has a little correction, a little bit of dip, which we were going through today and probably for the next couple of days leading up uh, into the start of February. Uh, in February, I think Miro is due for a $1 move. Now, to be clear, a $1 move means that Miro would be sitting at a $1 billion market cap. And that would be about a 5x from where we are right now. Can I guarantee that that's going to happen? No. I can't. I can't tell you that today Myro is going to go up a single cent or, or a tenth of a cent or a hundredth of a cent. But I think that the strength of this community will lead to a few things. Now, I don't think that crypto.com or something like that is going to be in the mix. But I want to tell you, when you have this type of engagement, when you have this type of trading volume, when you have this type of activity, when you have this type of passionate community, there is one group of people that get in on it, and that is Binance. So I'm here to tell you, for Miro, Binance is coming. And when it does, Miro will be on a run to $1 billion. In the meantime, it's going to keep adding new exchange after new exchange after new exchange. That will make Miro inevitable. Now, if you're somebody who wants to use use cases or, or somebody who, who needs a use case for something, this is not the investment for you. This is a wild pie in the sky, what we would call a degen play. So adjust your risk accordingly if you decide to enter a project like this. The other one that we want to talk about is Injective. Now, the reason that Injective is, and by the way, Injective is on a dip right now, starting to reverse at this moment as we're, we're filming this. And here's the thing. Injective has a token unlock. It has, as a matter of fact, it had the biggest token unlock of this month, something like $143 million in tokens were being unlocked, 13 of which were um, people who were more likely to sell right away, marketers, stuff like that. Uh, and they might not sell because Injective does feel like it's ready to bounce. Now, it doesn't mean that it will, but what it does mean is this is the last unlock for Injective. So you know what that means? That means there's no more surprises. There's no more token unlocks. All of the, the hurt, all the pain, all the quote unquote suffering from token unlocks is done. Now, once it's done, there's some more dApps that are going to be launching. And here's the interesting thing about Injective. Uh, every week, 60% of the fees collected across dApps built on Injective are used to buy back and burn Injective tokens. Now, to this point, that gets diluted by tokens being unlocked, but that will not happen anymore. So from now on, every week, 60% of the fees collected across dApps will be used to burn Injective tokens and the supply will only shrink. And that is the circulating supply, which will be uh, matching up with the total supply minus burn. So uh, if you're not looking at Injective, you're probably making a mistake right now. This is an incredible opportunity, in my opinion. Uh, let's move on to the number three one. And the number three one is Solana. Solana is on a dip right now, about and down 50% from its high just recently. But here's the thing about Solana. Solana is showing remarkable strength. Despite the rest of the market having a breakdown 
with Solana with that having a breakdown. Solana's come a long way in this year from uh, all the way down at $16. 1321 was the low not that long ago. We all thought this was a dead project. We thought that FTX had destroyed it, that there was no chance for Solana to make a recovery. And every time we look at these, and guys, you could look at this chart and you can see bearish divergence after bearish divergence. It didn't matter what you threw at Solana, it continued to excel. Now, as you can look here, we can zoom out and move around a little bit. And you can see it's, it's bottoming out. Uh, if you were to look at this uh, from a parabolic move, you're probably going to find Fib retracement is probably playing out perfectly uh, right now to the 786 line from that parabolic move that just happened over here. Uh, you know, this is this is the one that I think is, you know, I think we're looking at a $500 at least Solana at this point. And I think that next month we start looking at this local high again, 125. And I want to point out that if you go to DeFi Llama, which you can use to check uh, blockchains and their activity, the 24 hour volume for Ethereum is 1.71 billion and with Solana is 762 million. So it's a distant number two, but you know, look at this, Ethereum, uh, Arbitrum, layer two solution, BNB, layer two solution, Polygon, layer two solution. Then until you, it's not until you get the Thor chain that you find uh, another layer one. Uh, so uh, I, uh, this is the competitor to Ethereum and Ethereum right now, is on a dip, and it's on a dip because uh, 8% of the Ethereum validators were knocked offline by a bug just recently. That is bearish, and that means people are looking for an alternative, plus the fees for Ethereum are just too high. The average fee for Solana is 0. 0.00002 cents right now, I, I want to say, maybe 0. 0.002, but you get my point. It's, it's inexpensive to trade on Solana. You can do it all day long. Uh, and, and never spend more than a dime. So uh, it, it, this presented a great opportunity. And I think that we're probably going to see an explosion in price commensurate with the Ethereum dip, commensurate with everything. Will it flip Ethereum? Of course, not. Ethereum uh, is second to the king crypto Bitcoin at this point, but Solana is a, a valid one. So uh, in summary, guys, for the, for the month of February, I'm going to go with Miro. I'm going to go with it as my DGen play. Because I think that Miro is, uh, I think it's going to run. I think it's got a fantastic opportunity. And I think we're just watching the next billion dollar token. Uh, my second one is going to be Injective. So make sure you go check Injective out. Uh, again, they're going to do token burns. They've unlocked all of their tokens. There's no more There's no more surprises. This is just going to continue to dwindle the supply. And they're going to continue to produce dApps. And they're going to continue to build their ecosystem. And then my third one is Solana. Miro, by the way is one of the top performing meme coins on Solana, but Solana's trade volume is the second highest in all of crypto right now, second only to Ethereum on blockchains, and it's on the only level one that's even close. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, this is not financial advice. My name's Believes. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Cryptonomy giveaway is done. If you won, it is in your wallet right now. So if you won, let me know, uh, leave a comment, uh, reach out to me, let me know that you have been a winner. But I want to let you know that on my uh, transactions so far, uh, we've done uh, quite a few little deposits here. Don't want to focus on the fix because that's going to be a very long time or the flexible, my, my apologies. Uh, but I do want to look at the fixed ones right now. And I want to look at uh, each one of the deposits that we've made over here. Uh, my Solana deposit, which we did just a couple of days ago, uh, you can already see my scheduled interest is going to be 26 Solana. Uh, right now, that's going to be about $2,600 uh, for this, this hold. Now, this hold is for one year, but I only put in 26 Solana. I'm getting 26 Solana back out. Uh, with my Tether, uh, the, the, the race is a little bit different, but $2,589. Uh, pretty good results, pretty good uh, amounts here all the way down the line, especially with Bitcoin. Uh, I'm going to uh, schedule to earn 0.08 off of my shortest term uh, play over here and then 0.037 uh, and then uh, 0.012. Pretty good return rates overall. So if you haven't already, uh, certainly go check that out. And finally, the launch pool. Guys, the launch pool has been so good to me uh, so far. Really allowed me to expand my position um, a lot. This has been 
really a lifesaver. You guys know what happened here, but my accrued interest to date so far, $28,471. So uh, I, it, it's, this has been, uh, th this has been fantastic. Uh, this doesn't end by the way, until November 21 of 2024. I am locked in. Each one of these is accruing interest for me, but uh, lifesaver. So uh, check out cryptonomy.finance. It's not financial advice.